Well, the producers have asked me to ride this, and it's certainly something different. It's a 50cc Yamaha. It was called the FS1E, but affectionately known in its day as the Fizzy, produced in the mid-1970s. And you may not believe this, but it was at the time a dream bike. Now, you may wonder what I mean by dream bike. You've got to realise at that time, legislation restricted youngsters, teenagers, to 50 cc's, um, a bicycle really, with pedals, but a motor was attached, hence the expression moped. The manufacturers realised that if they could make the moped look like a motorcycle and go like a motorcycle, there was an enormous market potential aimed at the 16-year-olds. And this is what they did. They made it go, they put in gears, and they produced a very fast little motorcycle. This machine was capable of 60 miles an hour. It's true that you had to lie down to it, you needed a slight back wind and a slope, but it would just about do that. At the time, the name of the game for these kids was to make these machines go faster. And mostly what they did was make them a damn sight noisy. I can well remember being irritated at that time by the noise they made, the kids screaming past with their heads on the tank, followed by a cloud of smoke. But I realised today what freedom it was and how much they were enjoying themselves. To many who were 16 or 17 at the time and are now approaching middle age, the fizzy has a special place. It has a special place because of what it gave. It gave to the kids freedom and mobility. It gave them speed. It was faster than a bicycle. They acquired some mechanical knowledge and experience. Not always good, but they acquired something. And they developed the desire to improve things. I really thought that riding this bike for me would be an embarrassment and that I would look ridiculous, and I probably do. I considered the way in which I could get to the destined places by taking back roads so that I wouldn't be noticed by anyone who knew me. But in a way I don't care, so some of the atmosphere attitude of this bike has seeped through to me. Having ridden this machine, I must say it's fun. It is a real motorcycle. The kids didn't know anything better anyway, and to them it must have been wondrous to get on something like this with the open road in front of them. 